If you have ever been to any of our events, if you if you've ever been to any of our events, um, you would have met Q. Q is uh, my father, uh, which means that wherever I am, and no matter what work I'm doing, I haven't done it quite well enough yet. So I keep uh, I keep getting told off uh, to to the side. Um, but just uh, just listening now, we've got some live entertainment uh, for you tonight, um, and. Before the entertainment, I'd like to introduce a BBC broadcaster, um, my co-host uh, for tomorrow night for what will be the World Kiswahili Day dinner in the Westminster Hall. Um, the first time such an event is happening in Westminster Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, Mariam, Mariam Omar. I'm Jumbo. Uh, this is such a shock. I didn't even know I was supposed to give a speech. But anyway, um, I'll just say that Swahili is very dear to me. Uh, Swahili. Oh, <laughs> I'm short. <laughs> yeah, Swahili is very dear to me. And I'm saying this because uh, it brought me to England. Uh, this was uh, 1998 as a radio producer for Swahili. And um, from there, of course, we grew, and uh, I managed to get into some better runs, and we also started the first ever uh, Swahili television, international Swahili television, uh, which has clocked 10 years. So as I stand here, I'm so proud of this language, and um, I want us to embrace it, especially the diaspora. Uh, we've seen lots of people in their cultures maintain their cultures and their languages, but I've realized uh, people from East Africa sometimes, you know, tend to let the kids, <laughs> you know, uh, stick to the, what we have there as a language. But then I, I, I want us to encourage, you know, our kids to speak Swahili because it's, uh, it's now the international language. The UN has recognized it. Right. So, I mean, how we can it be, you know? So, uh, I'd want to speak to Swahili because I cannot talk about Swahili and not speaking Swahili. Kwa hiyo, na shukuru sana na nigepita tu kusema kwa mba Swahili ni mga mba mneishimu sana kwa sababu mjio mendeta katika hii nchi mwaka kumuja sinia tisina nane nilikuja kama mtayarishi wa radio alafu baadai tukaja tukabadilisha tukaja na wazuzuri vina sali sali kikeko ni msigi uh, our top man tukaja na idea ya kufanya televisheni ya kwanza kabisa ya kimataifa inaozumumza luga kiswahili and in English I forgot to say that we have over millions and millions of followers you know uh, following the television but of course we've now left hopefully they'll stick uh, with the BBC and other international organizations kwa hiyo nilikuwa nataka kusema kwamba nina fahari sana kuzungumza hii lugha nina fahari sana Uh, kwamba tuna lugha kama hii ambayo imetambulika na umoja wa taifa kwa hiyo ni sisi wenyewe kuikumbatia kwa pamoja kuhakikisha kwamba lugha yetu haipotei na vizazi vyetu ambavyo tumevizaa hapa katika nchi hii ama nchi nyingine za nje tuhakikishe kwamba vinaelewa hii lugha kwa hiyo nafikiri kwa machache tu ndio <laughs> hayo ndio nayo asanteni Asanta, uh, Mariam, thank you very, very much, uh, Mariam. Nzuri sana, wageni, mwakaribisha, Kenya yetu, hakuna matata.